Out of many card drawing strategy games for the phones that are out there, I always found them fairly stereotypical after a very short time. And you're always dependent on the actual level of the card rather than on the strategic element that certain card has. That all changes with the Warhammer AOS Realm War. Hi everyone, my name is Peter and this is my channel Things I Like. Graphics The power that today's phones hold is strongly reflected in game's graphics, but just because the game looks appealing doesn't make it a good game just yet. Realm War looks fantastic though. The graphic is detailed, visual style is appealing and clear so you won't get confused on the battlefield and you always know what is going on. You can always zoom in to enjoy the battle even closer. That said, this game is so fast-paced that you will not have a time to do that. The game is also using strong AR capabilities. that are more of an aesthetic feature rather than providing a functional ability how to play the game. Yes, you can display the whole game all over your room, but since the game is really fast and you need to be able to control the battlefield, watching the game on your display is the best choice. Storyline There is pretty much no storyline. You are one of four commanders and as you progressing through the game, you are developing your army and fighting your way across six different realms. So the story is super simple, defeat your enemy and carry on to the top. Gameplay Now this is the strongest part of the game. The Warhammer AOS Realm War is an incredibly balanced game that doesn't matter how much money you have spent on your units or what the level of your powers is. Each unit is so different and has a special use, so as long as you play your units better than your opponent his or hers, you can defeat them. I have played many times against players who had double of the experience and stronger units, but just because I was paying attention and focusing on using the right units in the right time, I was able to defeat them. And that goes the other way around as well. The fact how balanced this game is actually keeps you in uncertainty of who is actually going to win the round. The game can change literally within second and once almost lost battle can be easily turned into victory. You can choose out of four generals. Each holds a different ability. Some of them are more defensive while others are on the offensive side. That said, they all have a different point of view and you have to understand it and choose based on what style suits you rather than what character is visually more appealing to you. There is total of 27 units to command plus 4 generals, but you can use only 7 with your general in the actual battle. Choosing the right units for your team is crucial. No team is unbeatable. All comes down to the strategy and how much the units of your choice are suitable for the strategy you have chosen. The actual battlefield has two routes. You can send your units towards your enemy. The longer one has along its path a realm gate that it will activate after three of your units classified as heroes passed it and once activated you will gain a realm monster card that doesn't cost power to be deployed and is fairly strong. Downsides No game is perfect and that goes for realm wars as well without saying. After completing all six realms, the game is all down to battles in the same realm, so the fights will become soon a bit stereotypical. Even though the balance of the game is great, it would be nice if the realms could be accessible even in later parts of the game, so it would keep visual interest and also each realm could be possessing a different realm monster with different abilities, in which case it would provide more of a strategic element. Verdict Overall, the game is one of the best games I played on the phone and one can easily become an addict. As the game will be developing, I believe there will be more features that will keep us entertained and hopefully the game will never lose its balance because that is the key feature that separates this game from others. Thank you very much for watching. 
See you and hear you next time. Ciao.